Have you ever been like, man, I fucking hate reality. Everything low-key sucks. Well, so have I. All the time, actually. It never ends. But I'm not complaining, though. I have found a cool new way to help pass the time. Just add wave to things. Turkey wave. Bacon wave. Full-blown acute immunal deficiency wave. And you got yourself the next hottest, coolest, emulatable genre. Seriously, pick up the closest item next to you and add wave to it. Did you pick something up? No, seriously, pick it up and add wave to it. I'm trying to make a really profound point that will literally help the both of us. If you don't want to do it, that, that's fine. I, I mean, it's, it's not that big a deal, but like, it, it'd be cool if you did. Like, just pick it up and then add wave to it. And, and it, it'll make you feel better. Now then, what is a wave? A wave is an oscillation of energy that transfers throughout space and time, and sometimes mass. Waves are really cool because they exist everywhere and make up most of the perceived world. Look at that gnarly wave. Check out this tubular wave. Holy S my N words have a gander at this deliciousness known as a ripple through the stream of mass consciousness. Now look at this audiophile. There's a reason why audiophiles are called waves. Waves were initially developed by Microsoft and IBM back in 1991. And WAVE, as we all know, stands for Windows Audio Vagina. Apple made their own uncompressed audio files back in 1988, but those are called AFS, which we all know stands for Apple is for fashionable individuals who purchase overpriced pieces of technology made by Chinese slave labor. These are all just uncompressed audio formats derived from Electronic Arts interchangeable format files created over 30 years ago in 1985, but everyone knows that. The most common WAV files are found in CDs and on broadcast radio, and are usually at 44,100 Hz sample rate and 16 bits depth. For those of you who don't know what that means, let me show you this cool little gif that explains what that means. This data is literally just this picture. Sample rate is the number of samples of audio carried per second. In this case, it's 44,000 samples per second. Think of this as the frame rate of music. The higher the frame rate, the more smoother and dreamy it sounds. Bit depth is the number of bits of information in each sample. The higher the bit depth, the more dynamic the music will sound. The lower the bit depth, the more it will sound like nasty ass garbage trash noise. Using math, we could find that bit rate equals sample rate times bit depth times channels, meaning one 44,000 16-bit WAV file will approximately be 10 megabytes per minute, which isn't so bad, but back when the internet first was made, literally no one could download music off the internet without waiting for weeks on end, and no one could ever call your house or else you'd have to start over again because that's the way the internet worked. It was a really dark time until the 1993s when the mp3 was uh made and then it reduced the size of audio files from really big to 1 11th their size then that whole napster thing happened which literally unlocked an entire generation of new websites and you know computer programs like facebook twitter or youtube is probably even based off of what napster pulled back in the day too bad the music industry was so backwards instead of going with the technology they suit the fuck out of the technology pushing music back probably a decade but enough of me youtube commentaring let's get back into the waves so long story short the WAV format is a timeless classic that will always probably be industry standard that'll get more high definition as technology gets better. Is there really a difference between digital and analog? Who fucking cares? It's all about, you know, the emotion you give someone. Also, the 420 thing is, is totally on purpose.